Just to show you that I'm not all about cars, today we're going to be fixing my Craftsman lawnmower. Uh, what's wrong with it? Uh, the drive line uh, broke. As you can see, it's got a ton of slack. Now, it breaks because of this stupid design. The way they feed it, they kind of feed it from the bottom and it, the kinks here. So it breaks all the time. So we're going to fix it. I'm going to show you how. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, we're going to flip it on the side. This is the drive back mechanism. So when I move the line, uh, or when I tighten the line, uh, it pushes this mechanism up, which provides power to the wheels. Uh, when I release it, there is no power. So uh, there's a little line here that has snapped. So what we have to do is, see, there you go. There is the snap. Uh, so we're gonna take this guy out, flip it back to its original position. All right, so here we've got this tab that needs to come off. So let's pop it off. Don't worry about breaking it because the new line comes with it. <laughs> All right, there you go. So now this now this came out. Uh, we can unfeed the line from here. Then we have a new line. Now this new line I will link in the description below. I got it on Amazon. It's a uh, Craftsman specific line. Uh, there are some other makes that fit this one, uh, but for you know two dollar more, uh, two dollars more, uh, I think OEM is the way to go. So uh, what we're gonna do is first let's try to snake it through here. So let's snake this line through here, and instead of instead of going under here, which creates a kink, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way from the top. So hopefully this will make the line last just a bit longer. All right, let's flip it on its side one more time. And now the fun part begins of trying to fish the line. When in doubt, use needle nose pliers. Ha -ha. So we've got the line snake through and I always just have to put it through the hole. Uh, I can do it with my fingers, but I'm gonna do it with these needle nose pliers. Uh, so you can see how it's done. Goes inside like this. Okay, so it goes. I'm using this line. Okay, so it's fixed here. Uh, we can flip it over now and uh, snake it to the top and uh, through the controller. So now we have to disassemble this guy. Uh, you're gonna use your T20 Torx screwdriver. Uh, I use Tecton tools. Uh, they're pretty good for things like that. Uh, I'll link them in the description below if you're interested in buying them. Uh, but you can use whatever T20 Torx uh, you choose. Okay. All screws are the same length. No need to worry about anything. And what you see is, this is how the line is ran. You've got the adjuster and you've got these accelerators uh, that I just kind of popped off. Uh, so we'll take the line out. So you have this little ring that you take out, then this allows you to take the line out. So we've got the new line in, uh, I'm gonna set the adjuster all the way in uh, to give it as much slack as possible. Then it's as simple as putting it in here, See, and just snake it through. There's a little bridge here that the line has to sit on. Uh, so the bolt is maxed all the way in. So you have uh, as much slack as possible. The springs are attached. If, if the spring falls off, don't worry about it uh, because it's very, very easy to put it back in. And we are now ready to put the cover back on. Uh, so, oh, no, we're not this white ring goes here and it protects the line from falling out. So now we're ready to put it back on. We can attach it. I think we fixed it. Uh, ah. <laughs> I flooded it, but let's see if it starts. 